Another assignment ends for Christine Fielding of Douglas Cork, the only woman who heads detective agency in Ireland or Britain. She's 24, attractive, a doctor's wife. Very different from the investigators conjured up by Ian Fleming and John Le Carré. But it must be, for all that, a glamorous, exciting life. I suppose you could call it um, glamorous, but sometimes you get tedious assignments. For example, you have observation jobs where you have to spend long hours sitting in a car, watching one door, and this can be very tedious. But on the other hand, you can get assignments where there is a lot of glamour attached to it. And what type of assignments do you do? I do industrial espionage, diamond smuggling, drugs, um, insurance claims, um, undercover work, the store detective work. And have you done all this work in Ireland? Scotland, Northern Ireland. Sometimes I used to go to the continent. I went to Paris and Brussels and various other places in the continent, you know. Oh, no, all this sounds terribly dangerous. Was there in fact any danger to you at any time? Well, I would think there was. Um, for example, um, I was on an assignment where there was a chance of kidnapping this millionaire's son. Well, there was always the danger of um, somebody coming along and um, cushing me. Um, there was the diamond smuggling where we were following the man who had in fact five very valuable diamonds on, on him all the time. I shouldn't imagine that to be the aim of the average girl to be a private detective. How did it all start for you, for instance? Well, I was always interested in people and um, when I went to London first, I had a job as a shorthand typist with the Institute of Race Relations. And it was very routine, going by train in the morning, etc., and just bang away on a typewriter all day. So one day I was passing this detective agency, and I decided, well, here's my chance of ever. And I went in, and I asked for a job. And sure enough, I was let know in three, year, three months later that I had, in fact, got the job. Now, what type of training do you have to do for a job like this? Well, we were, the first uh, principle was always self-defense. You had to take a course in judo and, um, and um, any other sort of defense which would be helpful if you got into a tight corner. Um, we had to read a lot, I had to read a lot of uh, cases, past cases. Do you believe that women have particular advantages in being private detectives? Oh, I certainly would think so, because a woman can follow a man or a woman. But if it was a man, he can only follow a man, you see? Otherwise, if he followed a woman, he could be up for loitering or following or other s such offences, you see? Oh, no, you, you have started an agency here in Cork. That's correct. Are you employing only women in this work? Well, at the moment, I am employing only women, but I hope to expand to an extent where I shall have assignments for men. And what's the attitude of the police to, to people like you? Oh. Do they approve or disapprove? I think it's very favourable because um, they have so much work to do themselves that I think that they uh, think our, our, our work is very uh, good insofar as we go in and store detective work. And when we catch a person, generally speaking, they, we call in the police and then they take over from there. They do the prosecuting, etc. And how, how does this all tie in with your married life? Do you find it interferes very much with it? <laughs> no, not really. Your husband doesn't object? Oh, not at all. I have plenty of spare time. And I think, in fact, he's very glad that I have found something which I'm happy at, besides housework. <laughs>